Ashton Bonani, Igamalam, Abongi, Lenoya, and I am a computer science student studying at UCT and I am doing my second year. In today's video, I'll be answering a question that I was asked in one of my videos, which was Abongi, what is the difference between computer science and information systems? Right? We all kind of like want to know what's the difference so that we know which um, words to choose. So if you like these kind of videos, make sure guys you support this channel by subscribing, by hitting um, the like button and just leave a nice comment down below. Otherwise, let's get it. So this video is going to answer these following questions. Um, what is computer science? What is information systems? What are the differences and similarities between the two? Which one is better? And also, what are the jobs that a person can venture into with their specific degree? Let's kick off by answering a question, which is, what is information systems? Cool. So information systems focuses mostly on um, how technology can improve businesses, right? For example, um, a business can move from recording their data or their accounts in a, in a manually way um, by installing a software that will automate um, that will automate the bookkeeping processes, right? So just to expand on this example, because I am doing information course this year, information system is like divided into many aspects, basically. Um, you have a person that identifies that, you know what, there is a problem in this whole system, which is our business. Um, the first problem is that, guys, we are taking so much time recording our data, right, or recording our accounts. That's the person who identifies the problem. And the person who identifies the problem says, oh, I have an opportunity, right, to seize an opportunity in this whole problem. So information system, there is a person called systems analysis or business analysis. So this person basically identifies the problem in the business and sees an opportunity opportunity in this case is to install a soft way right is to install a software that will automate that will make this whole process of bookkeeping very quick basically what I'm trying to say is um, information system identifies the problem right and then after identifying the problem they see an opportunity with that problem and they can also implement the problem. You have people who did information system that can code, right? That are responsible with implementing the solution rather. The modules that people in the information system or students in the information systems um, um, focus on is systems analysis, business um, intelligence and analytics. They also have coding workshops or coding classes. Um, one of my friends told me doing information system as a major. She told me that in one of the years, I'm not sure if it's this year or next year, they will be doing an e-commerce website as a project. So if you don't know what an e-commerce website is, it's like basically um, take a lot. It's basically, you know, those commerce websites, <laughs> take a lot. You can have your food websites, also restaurants, tiers, KFC, all these um, um, shops that are in, on the internet. One thing I can tell you about information systems is that um, it is pretty hands-on and you use a lot of applications. So you do not just read notes and cram, memorize or whatever. You have to understand your notes because you're not gonna, they're not gonna ask you what is this or how does this work. They're gonna ask you to implement or apply what you have learned in a specific scenario. For example, we give it two case studies and each each week we are getting a step closer into building a business case. So they will give us, like this week we'll be doing uh, class diagrams, next week we'll be doing UML, um, what's this, class diagrams, use cases, package diagrams. So they're not gonna ask you what is a package diagram, nope. They're gonna ask you to draw a package diagram for this, specific um, entity or specific um, business right or system rather yeah so it's pretty hands-on which is something that is great because you can see um, where you 
lack in terms of understanding your work and it has a lot of team work it, like um, all of my things are teamwork in information system which is something great so in information system um, it sharpens your um, communication skills your leadership skills it sharpens your how you work with the team your confidence because you have to voice out how you feel about um, the final product or you have to voice out um, your opinion right so when you don't agree with your team members you have to tell them that guys I don't agree and that takes confidence communication you have to communicate between um, your team members and also have to communicate with the client right through paper and also through verbal so it, it, it's very it's very intense honestly it is one of the courses that you need to apply yourself and you need to enjoy it in order to do well in it so that's it with information systems now I'm gonna move on to what is um, computer science now we are discussing what is computer science computer science focuses mostly on the theory of computer hardware and software guys I think I've actually finally figured out what is theory in computer science. Theory in computer science is different from theory in history, in geography, um, what other theory based um, courses, <laughs> I don't know, but they are like different, or biology is biology, they're different, like you don't have to label things or you don't have to remember things that much, you just need to apply. But now let me tell you how you apply, so you're going to read let me give you an example. You're gonna read like a textbook telling you guys what is a variable. So a variable is like a placeholder. So instead of memorizing what is a variable, you have to memorize the code to show what is a variable, right? Uh, uh, like it's because to be honest, there's less application. Instead of them showing us what um, how the variable works when creating a website, how the variable works when creating a game. Or um, a blog, whatever it is that a person might create, um, they they tell us in theory form. We we'll see this is um, what a variable is. I'm not sure if you're getting me, but it makes sense in my head. So I'm assuming it does make sense. Yeah. So that's what I mean when I say theory in computer science, right? It it it's not it's not about implementing. It's about understanding the different types of data structures of that um, of, of computer science. But also, I don't want to limit um, computer science to that because it is a very, very broad, um, broad uh, field or uh, module or course, whatever. It is a very broad study because we learn Python, we learn um, Java, C++, C++, we learn SQL, which is used to manage database, um, which is a database management system. We, we also focus on analysis of algorithms and data structures we also focus on how to use different types of operating systems so it's like a lot that we guys do um, yeah but essentially we're not really applying what we do because if you can ask many people who are in second year or third year computer science um, they don't remember what we did in python they don't even remember how to use a select statement in python because these things you memorize them you don't apply them right so i feel like that's one of the disadvantages that um computer science well in university um has so now we're going to move on to what are the similarities between computer science and um, information system so the similarity number one is that um they both classified as tech careers um, because they in the tech industry so you can work in the te in tech industry with either computer science degree or information systems degree with either of the degrees you can uh, become a software developer I think most people want to be one so I'm, f I'm confirming that you can become a software developer with either of the degrees um, however it does depend what kind of software developer are you right be in mind 
at UCT, um, we have similar. We have some courses that we share with um, information system people, and some courses that information system people share with us. Yeah. Um, so there are courses that we do together, like the one that I'm doing now. Um, it's for both information systems people and also um, computer science people. We are done finding the similarities between computer science and information system. I think it's time to move on to the differences between IS and CS. Um, I'm sorry guys, I'm actually going to shorten it. Ah, computer science and information system, it's CS for computer science and IS for information system. So the first thing is we have to look it at the student level. What do I mean with this? I mean information system is found in the commerce faculty. What I mean with this is you have degree uh, courses like accounting, business law, EBM, and on top of that you have information systems courses. So there are a lot of commerce based um, courses that computer science students don't really have to take unless they are also majoring computer science in the commerce faculty. But if you are from the science faculty, you just take the computer science um, courses and also um, your second major courses. Those, those are the only differences I find with computer science in student level differences. And we have career differences, obviously, which leads us to our next um, question, which is what jobs can a person with um, either of the degrees do? Please make sure guys you read the notes that I've put up on the screen just so you understand what a job does. Choosing which um, degree to go to solely and truly depends on your personality. So the personalities that I think a computer scientist person should have are uh, inquisitive, investigative, hard worker. I'll throw in um, smart because I do believe sometimes you just need to be smart to see the errors in your code or you just need to be smart in order to figure out the algorithm. So I'll throw in smart. <laughs> But it's not a major factor if you are a hard worker. It's not a major factor, but sometimes you just need smart people. Personalities that information system students should have, I believe, is problem solving, good communicator, creative leader, ability to work in teams. This is very important because almost every activity that you do in computer science will involve a team. So make sure that you are a good team member and you're not somebody who's very cocky and doesn't work doesn't want to work with other people i just want to say guys with every advice that i give here i want you guys to take it with a grain of salt and always follow up with your thorough research thorough research because um i just surface um, most information because my goal is to give you guys exposure then you have to do um proper research on that topic but guys thank you for watching till this far i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it very informative and if you were struggling um, to choose between information systems and computer science i hope this video gave you a little bit of um, both worlds and hopefully you now can make your decision otherwise that's it for me don't forget to like comment and subscribe y'all I'll see you on the next video. Mwah.